just remember growing up and seeing the Olympians with their like Olympic ring tattoos with the maple leaves. You were so cool once you got that Canada cap. Like you represent the country and that is like a huge honor. You don't want to just say I'm an Olympian. You say like I'm a Canadian Olympian and I'm damn proud of that. A little bit, Joanne, of the passing of the torch. We have an incredibly strong women's team, and it's led by Julia Wilkinson. She was just the queen of the pool here in Montreal, winning the 100-meter backstroke, 100-meter freestyle, and the 200-meter individual medley. Trials was awesome, and it, it gave me a lot of confidence, not so much because of, like, the times or the placements or winning, but it wasn't even about that. It was the fact that as a swimmer and an athlete, I've just grown so much. I still have to drop a second in my hundred backstroke if I want to fight for that gold medal. And yes, I have to do the work. Like I can't just like coast for the next hundred days, cross my fingers and hope it happens. But at the same time, for the last four years, I've said I'd be happy with a medal of any color. But now I've got my eyes set on that gold medal. So that's better. I think at the other end, your feet were out of the water. Your heels were out of the water. So you have to make sure you're at the, at the right level. Yeah. Hard, eh? Yeah, really hard. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be like that. That's the whole point. People know Julia is a great swimmer around the world. She won NC2As. That's no walk in the park. She's been in the Olympic final. She's been in World Championship finals. She's a very, very good swimmer. They don't know how good she is at this point in time. So what we're working on here is just adding a little bit of stabilization to the program. It's a lot of kind of balance type stuff, and you wouldn't think the balance is all that important in the water, but you need that stable base to get as much power as you can out of your limbs. My mom always talks about the unknown sacrifices that athletes make. Okay, well, they get up early and they work hard and they have to have surgery because they break their bodies and I didn't go to my prom. Those are the sorts of things people don't realize. I like to see myself improve. I'm very goal oriented, whether it's in practice or it's in the weight room. And I have such a vested interest in doing better every time because that's what I you know, feed off of when I'm behind the blocks. I've lifted this much heavier and I'm this much stronger and this much fitter. If you improve, it's just something you put in your back pocket that can go to in those moments of stress. I think I just wanted to show people that a kid from a town of 30,000 people in the middle of nowhere with a four-lane 25-yard pool can be an Olympian and can fight for an Olympic medal. And I think that's where it all started from. I just want to make this country proud. My name is Julia Wilkinson, and I'll be representing Canada in London. Oh, that sounds so good.